Hello friends. Before how to insert data into MySQL database using PHP with Vue JavaScript library, first we have to learn how to create model in Vue JavaScript. Because here we will use model for insert and update MySQL data operation, so first we want to make model in Vue JavaScript. Here we will use bootstrap model for create model in Vue JavaScript, but here we cannot directly use bootstrap model code, but here we have to use bootstrap code with Vue JavaScript. For this we have go to index.php file, and here we have make button for pop up model on web page. For this here we have write input type is equal to button. Here we have write at the rate click view specific attribute is equal to open model function and value is equal to add. So when we have click on this button then it will called open model function. Now we have moved to create model, so here we have write division tag, with we if conditional directive is equal to my model, if my model value is true, then it will pop up model, otherwise it will hide model from web page. Under this tag, we have write transition tag with name is equal to model, in Vue JavaScript, it has provide transition wrapper component, that allowing you to add entering and leaving transition for any element. Under this, transition element, we have write division tag with class is equal to, model mask class, here you can find CSS property of this model mask class. Under this model mask division tag, we have write another division tag with class is equal to model wrapper. This class style sheet property you can find here. Under this tag, we have create one more division tag, with class is equal to model dialog class. This is bootstrap library class, this class will set the proper width and margin of the model. Under this model dialog class, we have create one division tag, with class is equal to model content, this bootstrap class will styles the model border and background property, and inside this tag, we can add model header body and footer. Under this model content class, we have write division tag with class is equal to model header. This class is used for define the style for the header of the model. Under this model header class, we want to make button for close model. So here we have write button type is equal to button class is equal to close. Here we have write at the rate click directive is equal to my model variable is equal to false. So when we have click on this button, then my model variable will be false, and it will hide model from web page. After this, we have write header for tag with class is equal to model title. Under this, we can define model header title. Here we have write, double braces, and between this we have write dynamic title. In Vue JavaScript, double braces has been used for placeholders for data. After this, we have write division tag with class ID equal to model body. 
This class is used for define the style for the body of the model. Under this tag, we will define HTML element for enter data. Under this tag, for enter first name detail, here we have write input type is equal to text, class is equal to form control. Here we have write we model directive is equal to first name, this directives will bind the value of this text box to application data. Same way for enter last name data, here we have write input type is equal to text, class is equal to form control, and we model directive is equal to last name. Next we have write input type is equal to hidden, we model directive is equal to hidden id, under this tag, we will store id table column data. For submit this text box data, here we have write input type is equal to button, we model directive is equal to action button. This button value will be dynamic and we can define value by this we model directive. Here we have write at the rate click directive is equal to submit data. So when we have click on this button, then it will call submit data function. So. Here our model code is ready, now we have go to javascript code part, and here in data section, we have write my model with false value, so model will not be display on web page, when page load in browser. After this, we have write action button, this is we model directive of submit button, and here we have write insert, so when page has been load, then submit button text will be insert. Same way here we have write dynamic title, which has been used to model header text, so here we have write add data, so when page has been load, then on model title, we can see add data. Next we have go to method section, and here we have make open model method, with callback function, then method will be called, if we have click on add button. Under this function, we have write application dot first name is equal to blank, it will clear model first name text box value. After this, we have write application dot last name is equal to blank value. It will clear model last name text box value. For change submit button value, here we have write application dot action button is equal to insert. So when we have click on add button, then submit button value will be insert. And same way for set model header title, here we have write application dot dynamic title is equal to add data, it will display this title at model header. Lastly, we want to pop up model in browser, so here we have write application dot my model is equal to true, it will pop up model in browser. So here our code is ready, for create model in view javascript, so we have check output in browser. Friends, first we have refresh web page, and after refresh of web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see html table with data, and above this table, we can see one add button has been appear. So, 
we have click on add button. After click on add button, here we can see model has been pop up in browser. And in this model we can see two text box and two button. Here in model header title, we can see add data, which we have set in open model function, and in submit button, we can see insert value, which we have set in open model method. Here we can see two button, one button is for close model and another button is for submit form data. So this is step by step process by which we can create model in view javascript library and in next part we will learn how to insert data into mysql database by using view javascript library with php script and axios package.